Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. One of the great challenges of the COVID-19 situation that we are experiencing in our life today is that we cannot be close to people and we cannot touch them. We miss the usual handshake or the hugs, our greetings of embrace to one another. Even as priests, kami mga pare, I personally miss the warm welcome of people by doing yung manupo whenever they see us priest or our, or us priests praying over touching people to pray over them to bless them because of the COVID-19 pandemic we cannot freely touch others we cannot freely go near to people around us we need to follow the social or physical distancing in our life today we are now separated with each other because of being considered as suspected carriers of the virus. Last year, or even now, we can still see news and videos of frontliners waving to their children whenever they go home because they cannot go near to them or touch them. Or we can see videos of children using plastic barriers or PPE whenever they visit their grandmothers and or grandfathers just to greet them during their birthdays. In our situation today, we are like the man in our gospel for today who is ha having leprosy. You know, during the time of Jesus, having leprosy was considered to be a walking dead because they were outcast by society they are ignored abandoned and considered to, to themselves not only sick or dirty but they are considered to be sinner punished by god because of this it's unthinkable to approach and touch a leper it is unthinkable during the time of jesus to grow to go near and touch a leper People distance themselves from those who have leprosy. Or worse, they throw them away of the community, being isolated, o yung tinatawag natin ngayon na quarantine. Reflecting upon our gospel today, sabi ko, our situation that we are experiencing nowadays because of the COVID-19, we feel in one way or the other the feeling of the man with leprosy. Today, many people are being isolated with one another. We cannot freely touch each other. And we even create boundaries against each other to have safe spaces. As we start the new year, 2021, the wish of the leper in our gospel today is also our great wish, our prayer this year. Lord, if you wish, make me clean. Lord, if you wish, protect us from the virus. Lord, if you wish, stop the pandemic. This is our prayer. This is our wish as we start the new year. My dear brothers and sisters, full of hope and faith, we know that even if we are not unworthy, we are not clean, we are dirty by sin, and even if we are sick, with the virus or sick with, with other illnesses. Remember, God is willing to touch us. I do will it. Jesus said in the gospel, be made clean. God is willing to touch us. This is the good news this Christmas season. That Jesus as the Emmanuel, meaning God is with us, that this Christmas season, God manifests to us that God is here to touch us, to make us clean again. Jesus came into the world for us to be touched by God. Jesus touched us to heal us, 
and restore us, restore our life. Jesus touched us to show us that God cares for us. Jesus was born here on earth to show God's unconditional love and mercy to all of us. God came to touch the untouchable. God is here to approach the, appro the unapproachable. Jesus came to be con the concrete hands and presence of God to us. If you remember yesterday's gospel, Jesus proclaimed that He came to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed go free. And in the last part of the gospel yesterday, Jesus said, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. Yes, this Christmas season, Jesus came to fulfill God's promise to touch us, to save us, and to restore again our lives. Not just by words, but by concrete action. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, what we need to do in order to see and manifest God's presence in us is to have faith in Him, to believe in Jesus. St. John, in our first reading, reminds us, whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony with himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him, he, has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about His Son. They say that in order for a miracle to happen, we need to have faith in God. We need to believe in God. Yes, it is true that Jesus has the power to heal us, to restore us and transform us. But we must believe in Him and allow Him to come and work in our lives. Let us allow God to enter into our lives and touch us like what he did to the leper in our gospel for today. Every new year, and dami nating pamahiin, pampaswerte, and dami nating mga lucky charm, mga bagay na tinatawag natin pampaswerte sa buhay natin sa pagpasok ng bagong taon. But you know, hindi yan ang importante ngayong bagong taon. What is important to have good year, best year, favorable year is when we allow God to be part of our life. If we always recognize God every day this year, then God will always bless us. Another point in our gospel for today, if we always, if we recognize God's presence in our life and we experience the touch of God in our life, when God touched us by His love, mercy and forgiveness then we are called to be God's hand to other people let us be the hand of God in our world today touching their lives through sharing God's blessing to them by extending God's love and forgiveness to them and by touching their lives by our acts of kindness and goodness my dear brothers and sisters Jesus came to the world, into the world to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord, a year favorable to the Lord. Truly, this year, 2021, can be considered an acceptable year, a favorable year for the Lord, not only because we are celebrating 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, but it's a good year for us, even amidst pandemic situation. If we keep on believing in Jesus. We keep on holding on our faith, our trust and faith in God. If we allow God to touch our lives, if we allow God to touch our lives, and if we become the hands of God to touch other people's lives, this year can be a favorable, acceptable year of the Lord. If we believe in Jesus, if we allow God to touch our lives and we become the hands of God to other people. Amen.